This episode of Fashion Style Miami is brought to you by Zen Motel, your own away from home. Hi, and welcome to this episode of Fashion Style Miami. It's been a very busy week full of great fashion events. I was invited to interview Cindy Crawford during her visit to Miami to talk about her new book, Becoming. It chronicles some of her most iconic shots, which talks about her journey from small town Midwest girl to becoming a true fashion icon. I also joined the Women in Technology. We were at the lab to interview Israeli graduate student and fashion designer, Danit Peleg. Danit is one of the first designers to ever create a whole fashion collection from home 3D printers. It's amazing, you'll love it. Take a look. My name is Denise Perez. I graduated from fashion school three months ago. Um, I made a 3D printed fashion collection as my final project. So I came back home to Israel and I tried to understand if we have these home printers, why people are not printing clothes with them. I didn't know anything about 3D printing, so I really truly believe anyone can use these printers if you can actually print clothes from your house. I was always curious about fashion and technology and um, the main challenge to understand how to combine 3D printing and fashion was to find the right material and uh, the right printer. I ended up working with Filaflex, which is a really flexible material. It comes in many colors and, and with a wheat box printer, I could make uh, real textiles. Um, right now, I am actually able to email you a jacket and just like a few years ago, we would go to a record store and buy a record and now if you just download the music you like, it's gonna be pretty similar to the fashion industry. The designers will make the designs of the garments or the accessories or whatever and then the consumer could just go to the website and just download the file that they like and just print it from their house. So all the production that we used to do in China or these places, uh, we can skip it because you could just be your own factory from your house. So when I start the research, I realized that if I use a flexible structure of the pattern, I could make uh, flexible textiles. And then when I combined it with a flexible material also, it became to be really bouncy and it looked like lace a little bit. So. I realized that it looks like a regular, like a real textile, that it's really, it's taking the shape of the body and uh, it feels nice and you can wash it in a dishwasher, so, <laughs> so I found a solution for this as well. And I wanted the models to wear completely 100% 3D printing stuff. So I print them shoes and uh, sunglasses and bags and you could do whatever you want, you know? So it was too much fun, so I just continued working. The shoes I made with uh, two materials. The heel is made from hard material, which is called PLA. It's the most common material for 3D print technology. And then I used Filaflex for all of parts that needs to be more flexible. It's really comfortable. It feels like a heel that made from wood, you know? So it was... I have to say it was much easy to print the shoes instead go in and find the right shoes for my collection so I said I just print them and uh, yeah it was fun. Imagine being able to print your wardrobe from home strictly from home 3D printers. Thank you for watching this episode of Fashion Style Miami brought to you by Zen Motel. Next time you're in Miami check out the Zen Motel your own away from home.